Trump would have spoken. Okay. All right, guys. How you guys doing? Today, I'm going to be playing the council. What that means is I have no idea because I had never seen this game before. So... It's totally new to me. All right. So let's get to it. Um, it looks like an old, a older, older game. Not an older game, but like a um, a really uh, like the time time period of the game is like old times. Let's check settings first. Subtitles on. Controls. Camera sensitivity. Okay. New game. Let's do it. I have no idea what to expect from this game. Also, I'm eating, so sorry. ASMR. 1792. Okay. Stop! Uh oh. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get Borschert. the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you Damn. think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> Do they? By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single wow, hair of my mother's nice. head, I'll skin you alive. Yeah, you're in the chair you know, too. Louis, you can't really say that, bro. I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. True. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. What is it? Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Uh-oh. Is there magic in oh, this game? Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Damn. Oh, Didn't like stop it hurt annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? I don't know what happened. Just around. a few more Tell minutes me. and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. <laughs> oh, look at that. Bombarchard. Smart. Bombarchard. Mm -hmm. Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. <laughs> you want to play the hero. Let me do this. 
Let me Pity do this, you're not bro. in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Hmm? Wait, whoa. Trust me. What? Um. No. I got this. Don't worry. I got this. Stupid. Ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Ow. <clears throat> Throw the concoction on him. Stupid. Let's go. Let's go. That's how you do it. I got this figure. That's funny. <laughs> For God's sake, Louis. I told you to let me do it. No. Let me see. It. You know, I was in control of the situation, Mother. Oh, tell that to your nose. Right. It's because of this kind of reaction that I prefer to work alone. You ought to learn to trust me, Mother. Can't you be happy for once? I finally... We finally cracked the portrait case. Little man, he would have been more useful alive. True. How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. Um, You're the much CGI more important or the, than you can ever the imagine. It's just a little, little clunky, right. but you know it's Let's an older game. Now. It's fine. I can't excuse it. Hey, the story is fire. The story is fire. I like it so far. What's this secret organization? The council. One month later, what we got where are we at? Lord Mortimer's Island, off the east coast of East East England of England. He won't say East England. <laughs> Is that even a thing? East England. East England. Jesus. Can I talk for two seconds, please? Brain. So good. Oh my God! Well done, Mother. You made it you myself. Had to so good. Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island, which, by the way, wow. looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The council. Huh? The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time oh, for hello. you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, <laughs> sure. I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some <laughs> long-lost mystical <laughs> object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. what one may be able to imagine. I'd be like that. host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends. They try so hard with it. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities. I like to what begin. she's wearing. It's really nice. good, sir. What brings you here? Uh, business with Lord Mortimer, for personal reason. Uh, I'll say. Lord business. Mortimer it is. asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Thank Would you. you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Yep. I want to know about and the you, Duchess. Duchess, you seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? 
I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. <laughs> I mean. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really True. is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Yeah, you could. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're cool, moving, man. Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? Okay. A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah, well, that's all. <clears throat> are you all right, right bro? <sighs> I'm fine. Uh oh, Miss Duchess, take care of me, lady, please. Take care of me. <laughs> What's going on here? Whoa. Mother? Oh shit, your hand! You alright? So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, her Sarah. Hand. No one's what going to, to find her it. Hand? Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm Who's sure. Duchess? Right. That'd be part of the council, Just right? Just one thing left to do. No, mother! No! Don't! Don't! No. What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If Whoa. you if you kill me, you won't find it. That That's the is point. the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. This shit is weird, bro. No, sir. Don't. No. God, the old people no. in this room are so ugly. You can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay. <sighs> Damn. We've got to protect the Duchess now. You. Uh, Louis, are you alright? What's going on? He's like, holy shit. Okay, um. Here, take this. Thanks. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? Yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you I'll sure? Yeah, yes. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yes. Fine. Yeah. I'd be like, stay with me and cuddle with me real quick, okay? I'm sorry. But I please. definitely have to find mother quickly. Something's wrong. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? She did tell him he was special. We need to find your mother. Mm -hmm. It's always the mother <clears throat> doing weird shit. <laughs> What's this? Oh. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm yeah, not sure that? if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Hmm. Uh-oh, I can choose my class? <gasps> Let's go. Diplomite shines in society. Talented speaker. He voiced faux pas. And he can convince those with whom he is talking to without defending them. Politics is a field. Uh, I'm not a politics person. Deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge as acquires arts. Detective. Investigation. Trained to notice every detail. You want to question how hands on men. I like the occultist because. Science and arts and shit like that, and it just fits. It fits, you know. Diplomat is cool, detective is cool, but occultist, uh, I fucks with that. Um, all right, I have seven, so I can spend it on something. David, medical. Ooh. Um. Man, I can't, I gotta choose one, that's the thing. 
scientific knowledge. Well, I mean, okay. Oh, I had one point. Okay. How many do I have? One. Where? Medical techniques. I might need that. To be honest, but um, I like the religious symbols and stuff because that seems pretty useful. All right, uh, magic. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before mm -hmm. there was a cavern under the abbey wasn't there exactly the wind would blow in through spouts creating a, a terrifying howling sound so to stop the howling the priest called for offerings from the peasants and if they brought enough money i'm guessing the priest stopped the howling a perfect, perfect trick trip. to fool simple souls boom admit it duchess that story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, uh, yeah. it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. Oh, thank you. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Hi. Emily. Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? No. Not at all, so let her. Not at all, sorry. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I, don't I imagine remember that you. with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. <laughs> I just well, don't know. I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. I'm pretty good. Please stop torching me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? I, he's acting like a Four simp years right ago, now. In London? No. Hmm. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? No. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. It's weird. Right, it's time know to him, go to the manor. Cover hidden details like the subject that is most subjective of the situation or discover them. Okay. Important opportunity to not consume effort. Okay, I'm seeing how to unlock it. This skill allows you to discover hidden details. Okay. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Each person you meet on has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploring their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerab vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. <laughs> Okay. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. Okay. <laughs> nice. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. That's a fact. Can I answer an action? Can you do that? Unlock conditions, effects. Okay, let's do it. I love the manner. Should I speak in the, un in the English accent for the rest of this game? Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? 
youth, Louis Moraz de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted de Richet. to welcome you among us, sir. Why, thank you. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I yes. must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Why, thank you. What do you know? What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just uh. what you've found so far? It would seem that sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. But no one yeah. seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps sir's mother was here. Okay. Interesting. Any witnesses? Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep. And no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem okay. to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials SDR. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. Mm. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. Nice. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the war for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Hmm. My, um... Pass me the handkerchief. But, but, sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Facts. She was give me my shit. Looking forward to meeting your master. She's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often I'm let me use. use. Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that As what you wish me to report to your give master? Give me No, that certainly shit. not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. Yes, you have. Thank you. Fucking asshole. I'm kidding. <laughs> now go tell on yourself. Your handkerchief, mother. You That's my heart. For a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? There's no way I'm leaving without finding out about mother. Okay. Uh -huh. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Okay. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. <clears throat> All right. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. Edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Um, um I might need it. This I'm gonna might take just it. come in handy. Might need it. I don't know. We'll see.
some rope. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. A lantern. Nothing special. Let's see what's hidden inside. Wait. Logic unlock. Oh, lock. Let's look. Damn it. Ideograms. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Damn it. I, I thought I had this idea what it says. I thought I knew that. Joaquin Silva. Um, the address is 50 Bedford Square, London. No. Other letters. SRD, Samuel Ritter De Decoy. Name Samuel rings a bell. Ritter I knew it. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. Let's it's go. The of Louis Moras de Richet. You wanted to write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Oh. Dear Samuel, my hey. stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Okay. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would Godoy. be most grateful. I have okay. been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Mark. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your mm -hmm. game here, Mother? What are these strange turns of phrase? I've never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name. Okay. But here you go even further by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. Right. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think. Godoy. Yo, dog. Godoy. Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Damn it. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. If I knew well, politics, it would have worked. We need to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. All right. All right, time to go. Let's do this. Oh. How many do I have? Uh, seven, right? Benefit from sound, cultural background, arts, geography, and history. Oh, don't I have any? I thought I had some. Mm. Talents. Oh, effort point. Oh, okay. That's an effort point, not a other point. Okay. Okay. You have always been charismatic. Decided to act against your mother's. Act against? What do you mean, act against? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, in the um, in the beginning, chosen the occult class. Yep. Map, eternal. 
immune, she's immune to logic, so she's obviously smart. Uh, <laughs> to be discovered. Close the English crown, very discreet about her origins, only came to political sense seen after her wedding that some qualified as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline. Libertarian, modern, but discreet, she has taken upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. In a few years, she has become favorite diplomat of the Queen, which is what probably prompted her Prime Minister William Pitt to take her as private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. As regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory Holmes' invitation to come to the island because this one for him requests. Rich, the only son of Sarah. Natural that on his 14th birthday, the Golden Star Order, the secret society, headed by Sarah. Oh, okay. So Sarah's the one that started it. Or she's headed. She's the head of it. Crashes, going quickly on the side, despite the daily treatment. Okay. So he might be the head of the Golden Order eventually. Turn subject of conversation among the guests. No one knows the true reason. Manipulation. They're vulnerable to manipulation. I see. Old ass lady. French aristocrat. Interesting. Inventory. Alright, well, let's do it. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? That's a good point. Let's do it. I'm excited. I like this so far. The talking animation isn't perfect, but, but hey. It's a game. It's not a big of a deal. I like the story though. I like the story. <clears throat> Whoa, that's cool. Whoa, impressive. Ah, uh -huh. my son, I was looking for you. Why? What can I do for you, Your Eminence? What's up? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sada Dedice, aren't you? Yep. You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't mm -hmm. seen her. If only Mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. So, yeah. Listen. If it will help, you can always give it to me. You have to go through several steps by being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story. So don't hesitate to use your skills. Yeah, I was thinking that. Each confrontation displays an interface showing how much person you are talking to is convinced. Got it. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Uh, yes, yeah, she's been here for several weeks now. Give me your letter. Well, yeah, she's been here for weeks. Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. Let's go. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, huh. If you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. I know. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. We'll see. If only she had told me where she was headed. Where is she going? Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. Gotcha. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. That's great. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. Got it. You said you work together. 
What do you do exactly? What do you do exactly? <laughs> Our business is confidential. Well, I don't want to tell him, just... Be it mother or myself, our motto has always been discretion in all things. And to promise to never betray a yeah, word, word of, of honor. honor. Was your secret safe with mother? It will be even more so with me. Facts. You have convinced me. The mystery with which your mother <laughs> Let's go. manages her business <laughs> proves that she carries your motto close to her heart. Hell yeah. Your words seem sincere, my son. I think it all are the same. Sincere. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, your eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can all. You know what's funny? His his personality like switches so quickly when he's in like persuasion mode. I wonder if that's like a if that's like a personality trait or is it just like just the game, like the people who made the game is that like a blunder on their side? You know what I mean? Like the personality, the story, like the character. He's like usually he's not like that when he's talking on his own, but when you make him talk like that, he all of a sudden turns into like a fucking like oh yeah, I know what the fuck I'm talking you know, I don't know, it's a little weird to me, but it's fine. Maybe he just really likes doing this shit. He's sick, he's sick. Envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now we have always dealt with her in person. Well uh, that has always been successful. I got you. Do you think I should give it to you? Hell yeah. That's why I'm that's why I'm asking. Weird. Look, you seem hesitant. The simplest thing to do is just to give it to her when you see her. After all, it's not that urgent. Huh, that urgent. Yes. I mean, yes, it's urgent. I mean, what if we don't find each other here on the island? I'm saying, bro. Though I don't know yet when I'll be leaving. I might not be staying for very long. Hmm. What, what to, to do? do? Can you see a solution? <laughs> Can you Come see on. a solution? Just give me the letter for crying out loud. I cannot letter. run the risk alone. I am going to trust you. Let's go. You seem like an honest man. Let's go. Bingo. Listen to me, my child. I got if you, I bro. give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Hell yeah. Okay, for the last step, you must must convince the person you are ta talking to by giving a positive answer. If you read, if you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. I have three blunders left. Okay, it repeat itself. I won't get it right the first time. I'm believing his guy. Um. I gotta use this skill, right? Your eminence, that's just not possible for me. Why is that? I've always had a Cartesian mind and I won't make false promises. I respect Facts. you too much for that. Hey, I spend see? my time trying to find logical and reasonable answers to problems which, at first glance, may seem supernatural. Let's go. I'm not saying I don't believe in God as a concept. I just don't believe in the God of your sacred texts. Thank you. And I see? don't want to lie to you. I don't want to Even though your answer does shock, shock me, son, I I'm being honest only with you. Hear your honesty. That's, Listen, that's what I want. Let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de I'm reliable. Let's go. Your and Dali are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face oh. a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The Damn. church is literally being bled like a beast Damn. without your mother. Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has yeah. made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Nice, nice. Even if she doesn't share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, Bars. you can be proud to be her son. Oh yeah, I'm proud. Right. Only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. Letter I spoke of. Gotcha. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Why are you saying this so loud? Like, remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Time is short. Well played. Let's I'll go. decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Let's see. 
Clues the ions are hidden. Some of the ions have an impact on the adventure. So don't Fix this! <laughs> Bless me. Nice. That's what you call... Smart. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Right? Very tragic. Fall of the Dam by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. Hmm. No? The so storm grants you the exalted state. Temporary city immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice. Got it. I'll take that. Aww, let's go see what my little girl is doing. She's not my little girl, but you get what I'm saying. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing she got a big for chimney, five girl. ages. Since I set foot chimneys. on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. What's up? Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simple. George Washington, President hey. of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. What's up, George? Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice All right, to meet George. you. <laughs> I up, should bro. imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? Um... A letter? <laughs> my mother. At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. I it do. so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even George. money matters. <laughs> but Shut you'll up, see George. it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people. George is the worst. <laughs> right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, That's how I saw it. do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. Oh, very so, fun. if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Uh, she's a bitch. Invent something? I like the invent something idea. Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. That you know is. what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> uh, who says that? You're weird. But yeah, he's right. Seriously, though. I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Oh, he does know. Illuminati, bitch. Good lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the You're Order just in the staring United at the States. Bitch. <laughs> it puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Yep, he's pretty serious about it. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit. 
That's the man for my vision. An urgent case has Old delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. God damn it. He's asked me here, and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat, very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer, so don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll Hungry. have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. Okay. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. Hmm. And I'm you, curious. sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Hmm. Well, Washington, I don't know if I get a chance to talk to him, talk to home. So I'm going to stay and listen to Washington, see what he has to see say. What Washington has to say. Sir, stay. if you don't mind, I shall stay here. I can take the Do home. I'll talk exactly to home. Do exactly as you please, young man. I'll talk to him later. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like gotcha, you, bro. when I arrived this morning, I found out that Sarah had gone missing. I know your mother well. Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. Yeah, no worry. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. Uh, <laughs> and if you have any other questions, now's the time. All right, well, tell me about Mortimer. Where's the enemy to my friend? No, not that. I'm going to be that direct. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. Lord Mortimer is a remarkable man. He's wealthy and is advisor to the very highly placed. Your mother is the head of the order in France. It doesn't surprise me that he asked her to come. Lord right. Mortimer greatly contributed to financing my electoral campaign, for example. But I want this to be clear without ever seeking to gain an advantage. And that is to his credit. Yes, you can trust him. He will do everything in his power to help you find Sarah. Mr. Right. Washington. You seem to be very familiar with my mother. When did you see her for the last time? When did you last speak to her? Philadelphia. Fifteen years ago. Sarah hmm. often went back and forth between France and the United States. Yes, I remember those days. I didn't see her too often. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? I'm curious. Not at all. Go ahead. Let's see what But happens. I can't promise I'll remember everything. May sure. I ask, when you saw each other, what did you talk about? Um, or the mysteries that surround us. My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Mm -hmm. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or mm -hmm. convincing people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's that it. Is? Thank you, sir. I was hoping to speak with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. Thank you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. Bet. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Do the others know? What if... And what if she left the island? I wonder if mother is still on the island. Could she not have taken a boat and left? I don't see how. No vessel can moor closer than 200 yards. 
Not to mention the permanent presence of staff and servants. There right. is one strange thing, I grant you. This island is barely the size of Delaware, and despite that, no one has been able to locate your That's mother. That's the question. So Where? my mother still she has must to be, be on the island. island. Don't worry, Luke. Somebody's hiding her. I'm sure nothing bad has happened to her. Or she's hiding Yes, I, I hope not. His face. <laughs> Careful, they're coming back. Got it. What to do? Is that Mortimer? Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. He does. When time was over, you answer. It's all I selected. Check the. Yeah, I know. So, who was that young what? lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. Adams. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Okay. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. I see twitching like that. <laughs> Interesting. Am I going to talk to uh, Elizabeth? Not Elizabeth. Um, the girl with the big tits. I forgot her name. Ladies, Lady gentlemen, in I bid you all good night. Mr. President, you. Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Thank you. Well, well. my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night. night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, oh damn. Man. It's been quite a day. I was hoping to talk to her right. more. Where is my room? She said at the corridor, right? Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Okay. Emily, I, her name is Emily. I was right. I was wrong. I wanted to say that, but I didn't. Duke Manuel Godoy. Godoy. Oh, that's the Godoy. That's the Godoy guy. Duke Manuel Godoy. And I, I can't go in there. Damn. I want to see, cause she wrote a letter for him, right? So I'm thinking like, if I can find him. I can find her too, but it's cool. Uh, he said it was at the end of the corridor, but I might have went the wrong way. Uh, huh. that's me. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Uh... Man, without le Without breaking the seal, can I do that? Can't. Alright, I'll leave it closed. Damn. Can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Too I'm just bad. gonna find her. I'll wait I until I hand it to mother. We're just gonna wow. find her. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. That's for sure. Books. No. Ooh, 
I can go outside. Oh wait, let me go to the, over here first. Are these other people's doors? Wow. Look at this. Oh, this doesn't look too bad. Gives you focus state. No effort. next a bottle okay wait this door no let <laughs> me just knock on her door like yo you trying to fuck lady not her This, oh, this is mine. Oh, I'm going to sleep? Damn it. I was wanting to look at the rest of the room. Oh. Uh. <sighs> okay, uh, what does it say? Reliable. Elizabeth Adams. Oh, that's Elizabeth. Oh. Elizabeth Adams is the daughter of John Adams, the vice president of the United States. Okay. I figured. Elizabeth was rejected by her parents at birth and was declared stillborn. Brought up in isolation, she grew up a frail young woman with bipolar disorder. Devoured by her terrible fits of anxiety. Her deepest secrets were slowly gnawing away at her from the inside. Despite numerous treatments, nothing could cure her. The young woman continued to descend into folly. As a friend of Sir Gregory Holm of Lord Mortimer, John Adams decided to send his daughter to Lord Mortimer's manor in the hope that he could help her. With little hope, Elizabeth has now been in the manor for a short while. Damn. That sucks. Home. Ugly ass boy. Ugly. That is so... Gregory Holm. Baron of Nottingham, very influential British aristocrat, confirmed royalist, he spent his career ex extending the influence of the United Kingdom throughout the world, the company, freedom of America, his hallmark on key decisions, to the reduction of national debt, attached family values, okay, charity schools are to offer a decent education to future links in the next industrial revolution. Network builder. I find pleasure in attending social gatherings with those old friends. Nice. Piaggi. I don't know him. Manipulation. Literally, he's vulnerable to that because he is stupid. I'm kidding. He's not stupid. She's immune to logic, though. George Washington. The man himself. My first president. All right, let's do it. Go to bed. I'll wake up with Emily beside me. I failed one. 
I did not find all the clues by my mother on the docks. Did not pick the book up on the quay. What do you mean? I look. I checked everywhere. That's dumb. Um, but hey, it's just part of the. It's part of the story. I'm not gonna think about it too much, right? Um, damn. I wish I didn't find all the clues. I thought I found all the clues. I literally looked through it. Oh well. Can't go back. Fine. Oh, okay, now I can do it. All right. All right, so the biggest thing. One. Um, I like to have them all on. This one. Oh, wait. What questions? That'd be nice to have. Politics. That seems useful too. Okay. Interesting. I like this. Oh no. A nightmare. Gotta love those. Is that Mortimer? Your Whoa. turn. The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, oh, I do Mortimer. thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet. Check out her room. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Yeah, that Louis worry. grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Mortimer. So that wait, that's not Mortimer? Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. That's not Mortimer then. Who is that? Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess. Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. You will. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Who is Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never hour. too late. And we have much to discuss. This hair needs some one fixing, last bro. move. Damn. Don't worry, our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. <laughs> come, come, take a seat, my friend. Damn. Okay, alright. This is interesting. I like this. The, um, the animation isn't perfect, but it's actually really interesting. Napoleon Bonner. Oh, that is Napoleon. Holy shit. That's crazy. I like that. I like that. We like those. Is that Washington? That is Washington. A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not <laughs> hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. For sure. The corridors seem quite safe. 
peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. So a very he... good night to you, Mr. President. So it seems like Louis is able to um, follow the body of somebody, um, or like he can his his consciousness is like rides on the back of somebody else's consciousness type shit, right? Um, and he can see what they're saying type shit, and I like so that's interesting. Thank you, and to you too, sir. Washington, a little shady, bro. What you doing, bro? Why are you in my room? Why are you going to my room, bro? <gasps> what? I'm coming. Why? <laughs> what does he want? Oh, I gotta talk to him, right? Okay, let me... Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured, dear Monsieur de Richet... Okay, let me go, let me go at, um... Answer the door. Where's the door at? Where the fuck is the door? I'm literally trying to go to his door. And I don't know where the door is. Last judgment. Why do I always get the most terrifying room? Where is the door? Oh. I literally forget where the door is. I'm on my way. He just keeps knocking. Bro. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know if it took me so long to answer the door. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Bothering you? No, not in the least. No, it's fine. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. What? Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Yes. Elizabeth Adams. Home introduced her to us. Yes. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! Yes. I was present at her funeral. She's alive now. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. So, the question I is... I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. It's her. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. Why? And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope Don't so. be a creep, bro. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. That's true. Look, bro. Um, I can't. Can I? I want to know more about, about the girl, though. She might be helpful. Nah. Nah, I gotta find my mother. I gotta find the mother. I gotta find the mother. Sir, I, I don't feel well. I'm going to have to decline. I'm sorry, I bro. See. Well, I hope you won't be needing my help one day. Shut up, George. You must act swiftly. I'll search my room later. Shut up, George. You know, fuck you. I don't need your help, alright? I don't need your fucking help. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out what's going on. Monsignor, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Piaggi? I need to find more about my mom. Louis, you're straying from your objective. What? My objective? That's literally where the door is. Oh, they went that way. That's right. My bad. <laughs> My dumb asses. Duke Manuel Godoy. So that's. So I'm not ever gonna. Am I ever gonna meet I the Godoy again? I recognize part of the corridor. I'm close. 
Also pass to reach your objective and you gotta do things twice for a park on the first path you come to. Gotcha. Um <sighs> second floor hallway. Oh. Bonaparte's room? Staircase. Boom. I really could go downstairs. Good evening, sir. I'm sorry, but an important meeting is underway. My instructor. Tell me, my good man, sir. It's scare him. <laughs> um. I have an urgent letter to send. My instructions are clear, sir. No one is to enter. Okay. Does the word urgent mean nothing to you? Yes, but the word liar also means something. That won't Fuck work, you. Lewis. Scare him. Question is servant. Let's Whose question. room is this? A guest. Apparently a French soldier. Mm-hmm. All right. Perhaps I should change my approach. Fine. Listen, I'm an insomniac, and Sir Holm told me that you could go to the kitchen and make me a cup of herbal tea. And what is in this herbal tea, sir? Holm gave Washington a recipe for a sleeping drought. What was it again? Uh, I remember. Peppermint, clover, and celery powder. Peppermint, lime flower. He said lime flower. I remember that. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. I... Yes, it's herbal tea. I, I'll go and make it for you Stupid. at once. Stupid. I'll wait for you in my room. Stupid. Hmm. I need to find a place to watch undisturbed. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Got you, dummy. The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm. That might come in handy. Got it. The Battle of Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. It's a beautiful weapon. A levy damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Oh, I can't. Damn it. Ah, this window opens onto the balcony. Okay. Oh, it's the balcony. Mm. So that means the other room must be on my right. Sir, I understand your eagerness, but the pressure on my family complicates the task. Relax, my friend. Your relatives will soon be huh. safe. So what I saw in my vision really did happen. <sighs> well, I hope I haven't missed anything important. I thank you so much. Napoleon, my now boy. Now that's settled, let us speak about your support. Yes. You mentioned earlier some assistance from the Golden Order? Absolutely. Mm, I have concluded no. an agreement with their leader. Lady Sarah Faustine de Richet. Excuse me? Did Another she do that? Another case that Mother didn't tell me about. The oh, funds she... from the Order will finance the building of a foundry in Tuscany. You will soon be able to count on a hundred or more cannons for your future campaigns. I... Uh, I was not expecting so much help from you. Uh, when can I meet this uh, de Richet? Well, unfortunately, something has cropped up. De Richet has disappeared. Disappeared? What? Here? Yes, but the staff are redoubling efforts to find her, I assure you. He's not so trying to find her. It. Is it on or off? It is on. Her right hand man has just arrived here to help us find her. And her son. none other than her son. 
Louis Moras de okay. Richet. I so wager he will ensure his mother's commitments are met. I don't even know this nigga. Not an easy name to live with in these times. That's uh, of course. But from now on, you will deal with him. Fuck. This man. It can only be Mortimer. Has to be. Very well. I will seek him out. Ah! Ma'am. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run. What do I do? I don't have agility. I don't have agility. The fuck? I better get away from here. And now you say that. Hey, Jeff. I think it's like, okay, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. I swear to God. <laughs> this is cool. I like the story so far. The character models look like like they were made it by wood. They look wooden. <laughs> they look very wooden, but it's fine. Is this Emily? Please let this be Emily. I knew it. Really? Emily? I uh, yes. I can explain. Perhaps, but remains. Disconcerted. Someone threw off balance. The cost increases when using your skills. A golden yeah. elixir. But but first, you could perhaps remove the blade from my throat? You have ten seconds to explain your presence here. God damn it. Emily, we both know you're not going to kill anyone this evening. Be careful. I might have to cut you off. Oh, Wait. you're real funny. Let's talk about this misunderstanding. What are you doing in my room? Hello. Uh... I, I thought a night stroll would help me sleep better. A servant must have closed the window behind me and And I... my window was the only way for you to get back inside. Most convincing. You know what? <laughs> what are you really doing on the balcony? Hey. Um, damn it. Seeing the window open, I feared someone had entered your room. With what I heard next door, I had every reason to believe that your life was in danger. So... I am a grown woman, but how kind of you to worry about me. You are. I'm sorry. Now that I'm safe and sound, tell me more. Okay, do um... Do these events concern me? Do they involve the Golden Order? I'm gonna share the information. I overheard a conversation between a French soldier and some other individual. And what were they talking about? It seems mother is involved. Something about a military campaign? Apparently my mother validated an order of cannons to help this man. Really? Since when does the order finance wars? I don't as think. far as I know, since never. Did they give any details? A date? What they were you for? take the knife off my Nothing fucking at all. throat. Did you know anything about this? No, but I won't forget. Thank you. I got you, fam. All right, Louis. I might have overreacted a bit. Just a little bit. Please do excuse me. But next time, please try knocking on my door. I'd be delighted to open it for you. Hey, lady. Well, I'll remember in that case. Please, just take night, me there Emily. one time. That's all I need. Good Thanks. night, Louis. Good night. Hey, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Somehow we managed not to die. <laughs> I wonder how bad you have to fuck up. He has some big ears. I just realized that. Most of them do. I don't even know what that means. Why is my computer again? All right. Um. Miss Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Alright, so can I go downstairs? I can't. Alright, well time to go. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I wanted to speak to you about something important. Okay. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the home? Yes. Why do you ask? 
I have a name to add to it. All right. There it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was I right with my trust in you. <laughs> Give me one it. second, please. Put a name on it. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. I you can you, count sir. on it. Have a good night. You too, sir. Stupid. I'm gonna open it now. I'm gonna set up. Look at me. Huh. That's me. Oh no shit. Stupid. I'm gonna open it later, right now. <laughs> I'm exhausted. No. Better go to bed. I never looked at this no, shit I'll in the room. The tomorrow. Mother stayed here right before me. You never know. And Mortimer had better show up. Fucking Mortimer. Hurry up, bro. I need to search the room. I was gonna do it, but fucking George Washington. Oh, I didn't fail anything. Interesting. I could have helped him. I could have prevented violent confront. It was a violent confrontation. I could have found out something about my mother's past. What? 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 Wait. Prevent a violent confrontation. I didn't. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, I mean, obviously, but damn. But I guess if I would have did that, I would have missed something else. So I, I don't know. Well, Lee Hillsborough trusts me. That's all that matters. I need her on my side. Her and George Washington. Well, no, fuck George Washington. He a bitch. He a bitch anyway. <laughs> um, I'm gonna add one to everything. That way, I just have it. Um, you never know when you need it. And then the main one though is this. Up to date. Yep. Let's do it. That way I have everything. Attack of all trades. Sober. This music. <laughs> what was that? All right. <laughs> In my vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. Let's see. to unpack my cases. <laughs> Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully. My mother? Lord She's not Morton. dead. She's not dead. Fuck you. <laughs> She's just missing. At least for now, she. Last is. judgment. Why do I always get the most terrifying room? Well, your mom had it. Writing material. She was writing something. I can't look at it. That sucks. 
and incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Gotta love it. Nothing. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. I like they used to call it royal jelly. Pretty funny. <laughs> Golden elixir. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. <laughs> totally. Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A Voyage Around the World, the travel log of the explorer Louis Antoine Louis? de Bougainville. Louis? One of Mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And That's I don't okay. believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? Hmm, what's the clue then? I found it. A faint sign of the order, barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Damn. Not far from solving the puzzle, I must keep searching. Seem like I'm gonna need more vigilance. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. There's a circle around the lock here. Mm -hmm. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. I mean, I could use the key. Okay. What's in it? There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. Probably. All right. I've retrieved everything. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. Saturn's pretty weird. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voices. The conversion of Saint Paul by Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. A Byzant. Nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. This door look, look. opens. Markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. It is a secret passage, bro. Look at it. Oh my god. Look at it. <laughs> I can't. Uh, not far from solving the puzzle, I must keep searching. I don't have vigilance. That's a... Oh. I'm gonna have to get vigilance. A 
priest's robe, crosses. Must be Piaggi's room. What about these books? Can't look at the books. That's weird. Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. Hmm. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. Hmm. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a lemon to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? Fire, right? It's with fire. You gotta burn the message it. Message is illegible. I have to keep searching. I need fire, right? Hmm, nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice strong coffee though. There it is. It was, he literally just put a, a glowing stick inside of his, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Funny. I even took my stuff out. Can I do that now? I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. I don't see how it's technically possible for one type of ink to reveal another. It doesn't make sense. I'll take the ink. All right, take the ink. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. All right, let's do this. Pour some ink. Burn the page. Burnish the pages with the candlestick. Um. If is if she used lemon, it's a possibility she used lemon, but she also could have used ink too. I don't want to ruin the page and not be able to use the other one too. All right, I'm gonna do the candlestick. Just to see. <sighs> It's working. The heat reveals the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. After that, she adds, beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected soldier. And that's weakness. What is my mother trying to tell me? The beast tries to size up. The okay. Somebody's gonna try to fight you, or it's gonna be a confrontation. Gone to so much trouble. You must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Medusa is Medusa. Sir, I'm Did guessing there is, there's sir, a painting. The red salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Pain. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to <laughs> wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Damn Tell him I'll be there in a minute. All right. Well. Alright, well, let's do it. Hey, level two. If I 
I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the guests. I don't know what a red room is. Monsignor, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. I'm going the right way. I have no idea where the red room is. We're just taking a weird guess. No? Okay. President George Washington. Oh, he's... I'm not going in there. You know what? I might. Is he... Let Is... no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too Are bad. You? We'll see him later. All right, fine. I was hoping to say what's up. No, it wasn't. I was hoping to sneak up, sneak around in his room. <laughs> no, you should be like, wait, you're busy. What happened? Oh, he said there was a confrontation, right? Did he do something wrong? I don't know. Or he did something he's not supposed to be doing. Because you know George Washington wasn't. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. Can I, can I, can I go in there? Can I, hello? Elizabeth. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Jesus. Elizabeth, what are you doing, fam? Ah, damn. Oh, she, has, she says she's bipolar, right? All right, I guess I can I can pick lock this. A chest with a half circle pattern. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, damn it. That sucks. So much ass, bro. She's like she's obviously doing some weird shit. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Consume the crystals? I can't examine it. And why would I consume the crystals? I'm not gonna consume it. No. Water. Let's go. These are magnesium crystals. A fairly effective remedy for easing anxiety. I'm not gonna eat them. Why would I do that? Hello. Great, honey. Can I go back and unlock this? Please tell me I can do that. A chest with a half circle pattern. Let's go. Ooh. Let's go. I like this. We like those. An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. Feet and hands are bound. A piece of cloth in the mouth prevents the tongue from being sectioned. Mm -hmm. It looks like preparation for an exorcism. Oh, is Elizabeth god. really possessed? Oh god. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> the note suggests binding the feet and hands, then blocking the jaws using a piece of cloth to prevent the tongue from being oh, sectioned. No. Oh god. That oh. looks like a method to control an epileptic fit. I wonder if Elizabeth is the one being treated for that illness. Oh god, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like to look at that. I don't like no. I really don't. Okay, let's, let's hurry up because I don't know how long it's going to take.
3rd of November, 1791. My, My dear sister, sister the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a step to the heart. heart. Father told me it was for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't uh -oh. received any news from you. I heard voices. I mean, time. I heard walking. He's right. Your loving oh. sister, Abigail. She has a sister? Yes. Abigail. Oh, Abigail I Adams. I hope you like the enclosed talisman. Aw. Her sister cares. That's, see, that's, that's important. August 24th, 1792. Elizabeth, I am driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letter. I saw that. I read it already. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth. Okay. Damn, this is sad, dude. A novel of the initiation of a young woman into polite society. Immunity. Well, I like the pentagram. More or less a pentagram. I don't have a reflection, apparently. My dear Elizabeth. I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. Yeah, okay. Time to go. Let me get out of here. And then, uh, let's head. Oh, I heard that. Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go downstairs. What? I can't go. I gotta go all the way over here. Monsieur Johann von Wunder. Can I go in here? No, I can't. He's not of importance right now. <laughs> Where is the red room? Is the question. First question. Is it? Oh, first floor. Duh. I really just don't want to go to the first floor because I'm busy. I'm busy do exp uh, doing, you know, a few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Let's go. Hey. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. Yeah, I up? really need to talk to you. Hello. Hello. You're Elizabeth Adams, aren't you? Yes. I regret that we haven't been properly introduced. Do you often fall ill like that? Yes, sometimes. But don't worry, I... I guess I'm kind of a frail flower. Maybe you were feeling hungry. No, it was nothing to do with being hungry. Fatigue, probably. I've been feeling more and more exhausted lately. Well, get some rest then, Elizabeth. Take advantage of the sea air and you'll soon get your strength back. Do you, you are really want to know what made me ill? Sure. Last night. I found out that your mother was on the island. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Uh. Excuse me, but speaking frankly, why would you care? I know your mother very well. Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed <laughs> you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. Whoa. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Yo, chill. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? What are you, you talking about? You can ask her when you see her. What are you talking about? She's getting more and more agitated. Bipolar. That's what it is. Look, I've, I've got to go. Wait. I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? 
there must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? Well, cause you started it, bitch. The fuck? Hmm. <laughs> damn it. There's no way my mother just did that to you out of spite. However horrible the things she did were, I've, I've got to believe she did it in your best interest. Do you have any idea how stupid that sounds? I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. Oh, okay, all right, You couldn't right, give a right. damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Well, no shit, Don't duh. say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Mission. Yeah, her sister. Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. Good thing I looked in her. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Let's go. I came Since back with insist, it. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for <laughs> trusting me. Let's go. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon mm -hmm. people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. Just like so your mom. So my father spent Just an like enormous you. amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. Damn. Exercise? So, is that what your father did? Exorcism? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. That makes sense. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. Damn, that makes sense. It would okay. coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside damn i understand how you feel but i know my mother i'm sure she had her reasons even if it seems difficult to believe everything she put me through was all for nothing my whole life hey. was ruined for nothing hey. so what brings you here then my father used here? to know sir holm he offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult lord mortimer he was my last hope until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got yeah. to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's coming for you. You don't believe in coincidences. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Why would they kill you? Why would they? I mean, she is. She's a little. Hey. I like what she's wearing though, it's pretty cool. This is interesting. Okay. Hey. What can I do for you, sir? I don't know. I am at your service day and night, sir. <sighs> I wonder if you can help me out. What can you tell me about our host? What can you tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir. But I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Okay. Perhaps, uh, would like to know something else? Can I influence him? No. Damn. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Uh, which I mean, Golden Elixir, Devil's Thorn, Amber. Oh. Manuscript? What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. 
I would never dare lend Sir a book in such a pitiful state, Sir. I took it to restore. Make him believe it's my book. <laughs> Hang on, but it's mine. Beg pardon, sir? It's my book. I'm telling you, it's my book. With all due respect, <laughs> sir, <laughs> I hope sir will understand that I have doubts. You see, I found it in Lord Mortimer's library. Maybe. Huh. There you are, then. That's exactly where I left it. I am quite put out, sir. I don't know what to say. <laughs> in that case, I suggest you say nothing and hand it over. But I... <laughs> now... It's sir, mine, I... ho. Very well, sir. Here you are. <laughs> May sir take good care of it. It is damaged. And you've damaged it as well? Well, bravo. Bravo. Good job, uh, no, I didn't do anything. It wasn't me, sir. Say pardon. Pardon me, sir. Very good. There were some other things I wanted to go over with you. <laughs> um... Nah. That is interesting. I like how they have the... Uh, I could just talk to them, like get stuff. I guess maybe. I don't know. Let's we'll see. Let me let me go in here. See what's in here. Lives of the noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a biography of the great men. Open to Brutus's page. Caesar stabbed by multiple blows at once. Sees Brutus raise the dagger on him, then. Covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Interesting. <laughs> Let's keep it. Might come in handy someday. Tears the page out of it. <laughs> like, how dare you, sir? Look at that. I don't even know where the red salon is. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. All right, red room. Is this the red room? Where's the red on the first floor? The red salon. Is this the red salon? It is the red salon. Okay. It's over here. Well, here we are. Red salon. This is dope. I like this story so Dear far. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. And the voice actor is actually really good. Was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richer. Ah, she is Allow me to introduce bro. our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister hey. of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, what Lieutenant do. of the French Revolutionary Army, and Jacques Peru, French Jacques. Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. He looks like a dick. <laughs> Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing it? He, he doing? tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Thank you again for the wine, your eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. He was too. My friend. You must be joking. Surprising when you know Volner prohibited religious practices in Prussia. Renowned member of the Rose Qua Order, former Freemason and great lover of alchemy. And look at Piaggi fawning over him. I really do have a problem digesting political protocol. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. 
and yourself. Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him ah. terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. Oh my god. I should feel better she too as soon as the situation is to be honest, settled. Like today. If by chance honest the out. French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always She's be a refuge even for you in London, out there. my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, <laughs> I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your ass up. Oh, suck my dick. <laughs> is the wine to your liking? Very much I'm so, here. Sir Gregory. Mm. Such complexity. <laughs> Typically French. A Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely. Oh. If I'm not mistaken, Why is his hair this is like not that? Lord I mean, Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation oh. from the rule. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same great varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. No. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. No I made a promise. Now it is done. Look <laughs> at that fucking face. The car is is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. God. Oh dear. Mm. <laughs> Let's get to know Rolnir, because he... My lord, I only know the prestige of your name. Uh -huh. Might I have the honor of getting to know you a little better? You are Monsieur... Louis Moras de Richet. Uh -huh. De Richet, de Richet, a name with a nobiliary particle. Are you descended from a noble line? Don't try yourself. What? Nigga. Um. I am just a simple French citizen. Really? Oh, you seem nothing like a commoner. <laughs> Especially please compared to that her. wretch over there sharing our meal. Uh, please, go ahead. Uh, oh, what do you want to know? Have you any information oh, oh, oh. on this Napoleon? Who does not know about <laughs> Mortimer is arranged to keep his family out of the harmful reach of Corsican monarchists. Mm. Interesting. And that's not all. Mortimer and my mother mm? have apparently agreed to deliver cannons to this Bonaparte. What? Since oh, when does the <laughs> We're at the table. Why don't we just say this? Are you sure? Unfortunately, yes. Mm. And the fact <laughs> you didn't know my mother yeah. made this agreement makes it even stranger. Thank you, Louis. At least you have taught me something. I got you, bro. <laughs> America. Monsieur de Richet? It would and seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? Uh-oh. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. <laughs> what to do? Don't fall. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I will punch. I'm I listening. Punch. I would have punched the fuck out of for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. No, that's not happening. You must know that I am deeply sorry about their disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. All right, give it the to agreement me. stipulates an aid of fifty thousand Louis d'or for two hundred. Louis fifty thousand. 
Uh, I cannot agree to that. Surely such an amount will buy twice as many cannons. Don't try to pull a fast one on me. We're both young, but we are not naive. That's Please don't be offended. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure you knew what you were talking about. And I am reassured. I yeah, have one see, last uh -huh. question I would like to pose to you. Okay. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Hmm. I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Someone who will restore her luster, who will propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. A Facts. man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and, mm. at the same time, developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words and I Let's agree. go. Monsieur it's not you, Bonaparte, I but... Am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. Oh, I'm good, I hope baby. to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by I offering you this humble little gift. Hmm. Oh, thank you. Reflections on the revolution in France. Mr. Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture, and please know that I, too, am delighted to have met you. Let's go. Interesting. Okay. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. Oh God, George, what are you doing? I would like to doing? thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together. <laughs> this guy's just eating. <laughs> Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place. Wait, hold on. Inventory. So... Um... Thing is, I have Emily's handkerchief and I have Mother's handkerchief. Uh, let's look at some people first. Freshman. He's immune to the occultism. Okay. I don't know anything about him yet. He's immune to conviction and immune to politics. So I can use a cult on him. He's, yeah, he's very easy to manipulate. <laughs> he's immune to logic. Manipulates, yeah, them too. They're pretty dumb too. Or at least not dumb, they're just like, you know. Like, nah. How do I... Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. Mm -hmm. So okay. let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. All right, George. So I raise <laughs> Shut <my> up. Glass. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, George, George? You are the last person to talk. Okay, your country is literally on the be on the start of so many world wars. We don't even want to know. Okay, shut up. <laughs> in honor of you all, my Fuck new America, and man. old friend. Yep. I trust yeah. you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Why is his face painted? Right. It's just we shall annoying. Meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. 
Until then, I trust you will find plenty to this? keep you amused. Is this nigga? I swear, there's literally butterflies on the carrot. That's crazy. What did I fail at? I know I failed something, right? No, I didn't. Oh, I could have searched Napoleon's room. Fuck. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh well. It's not that bad. I did pretty good. Eight. Let's go. Level two. Um. Agility. Psychology. Questioning. Pretty good with psychology. That way, I just like psychology. All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Conviction, politics, psychology, etiquette. Uh, The politics might help because psychology might help too, but conviction. I'll do the politics. Oh, I can only help. Okay. Alright. Let's do it. Politics will help. Um. If I just fall off, can I do that? That'd be funny. Hey, you know what? Fuck, fuck my mom. Fuck this shit. I'm out. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm out this bitch. Ooh, hey. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, this scene of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I know, right? I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes. I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. That's you true. will see. It's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? No. <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. He's still, Lord, like, it being is a little difficult weird. Of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. Well, I should think you are beginning uh, to worry. I think he's hiding her on purpose. <laughs> No. To tell you the truth, not really. Come you on. are right. Be positive. Perhaps Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer, and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> right? See? But uh, Gabby, stay positive. While I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Okay. Ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a Medusa. All I saw. guys just ask that. If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door. Right the it will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll Perfect. see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. 
Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. See, On that last ass. word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. <laughs> See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. Gluttony is the best, okay? I don't know why. That's a sin, alright? <laughs> this shit should not be a sin. Gluttony. Devil's Thorn. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Interesting. I'm gonna unlock it. I'm gonna unlock that bitch. Thank you. Ooh, look at that. Four of them. Alright. I've retrieved everything. I got five of them now. Let's go. A royal jelly. Amber crystals. I love those. God. All right, time to go. Ooh, look at this place. I like this place. Can I can I go up here? That'd be dope if I could. D, C. Actress, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Read it now. I don't know. Like I'm just stealing royal jelly from the guy. <laughs> what else we got? A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Portrait room. Find a Medusa. Where all eyes size you up. Literally all the eyes. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should we go and try to find the creature now? I mean, might as well. First. What was that? Oh. It's by inventory. Alright, so let's check the Riche Home Peru Ja Johan Christopher Bonnir Hasbro Dorishe Me Piaggi Bonaparte. You came out on top on a one on one. Let's go. <laughs> I got conviction, baby. But all right. Celia. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it. There it is. Medusa. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. Right. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Okay. Well, hold on a second. I didn't finish the... Painting with no name. 
stand back. Hold on. I'm not ready yet. I didn't even check the whole room. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. The Amber Crystals. The Company by Rembrandt. Oh. The Fall of Phaeton. Another painting by Rubens. This is really, like, the art is really good, Struck though. by lightning for borrowing his father's chariot and losing control of it. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. The son <laughs> of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Ah, François Premier, Receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. Christ crucified by Velasquez. Look, someone's left a note there. Reserved for the Duke of Alquidia. Dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. Liberty or death by Regnault. Well, I'll take liberty, please. But I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. All right, so. Here we got this. Now, Louis, it's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The Thanks. aim is to defeat the Medusa. So what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No, that makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm. I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Pretty smart. But it also means I have to make sure I get the shield position just right. So I, it would have to be towards the hero holding the shield. Well, no, it would have to be towards the... It had to be towards because if the light is going towards her, run, the light has to be going towards her to distract her, and then the guy with the sword can attack her, right? So the shield will have to go. Okay, so it'll have to go towards the guy holding the shield, and then shield will reflect it going towards Medusa. Yeah. And then it goes towards this guy. Considered optics. Think. To vanquish the beast, the statues have to be lined up in a specific order. What can the shield be for? To protect its holder? Why not? But in that case, what's the lantern for? Step back and take a second, Louis. Be logical, but open-minded. Think outside the box. Nobody said a statue has to have only one use. 
I wonder if the lantern was to distract the Medusa. This shield can both protect the holder and also reflect the light from the lantern to distract the beast. In other words, I'll have to make an angle of 90 degrees between the lantern and the Medusa by turning the shield to face the sword. If Mortimer's the one who thought of all this stuff, then honestly, he must have a screw loose. Crazy idea, but worth a shot. Towards the... What? He's heading toward, towards the, the sword? Huh. And one more time. Hmm. The mechanism is worn here. Whenever the shield is not turned toward the sword, the machinery freezes up. The statue must have been in this position most of the time. Betrayed by the marks of time. So that makes it easy. The shield must face the sword. Right. Okay. Then face the sword. Let's do it. Toward the hero holding the sword. And then the guy with the sword. And the guy with the sword. Rotate it towards the Medusa. No? Nothing. Oh. Damn. Am I, am I wrong? A painting with no name. In Greek mythology, anyone who looked into the eyes of the Medusa turned to stone. So the monster's statue must be turned towards someone who could protect their eyes. It can only be the hero holding the shield. The clue I found said, Beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected. That is its weakness. It's all, it's the shield, the it's key. gotta be. The best protected hero is the one holding the shield. Yep. Thank you, mother. Let's go. Rotate it towards the guy here on the shield. What did I, what did I just do? God, yo. Let's go. Bruh! For Pete's sake, Emily! You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep Not your fair. nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. First my room, now here. Stop following me, you're becoming a nuisance. Well, I'm Wait trying to find my mom. You... Fuck you. You're not implying that I'm here to court you. Are you? Oh, Louie, I'm just stating the obvious. You wouldn't be the first, rest assured. Stop yeah, it. This is embarrassing. The worst thing is it, it seems to be working. <laughs> it might be working. <laughs> let's go. Um, let's go answer. I've okay. discovered a hidden message from my mother. She explains how to find the secret room. Something must have attracted her here, so I've come to check it out. And you? What brings you here? Why are you Ma, here? you're curious. Let me guess. Go on then. Impress me. I imagine she was looking for someone too. She has to investigate Mortimer. I'm pretty sure she's looking for somebody too, right? You're looking for somebody. I am. It's gotta be. Your silence speaks volumes. Let's go. I must have got it right. And you will go to great lengths to find them. So, this person means a lot to you. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. He was right. Now, he was since right. you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your yeah. service, madam. Whatever, bitch. <laughs> 
Let's go. He still gotta fuck me tonight. Hmm. The heavenly symbols refer to Pandora's box. Emily, I'm pretty sure I've got Pandora's box. Of course you have. You see an earthen pot and you immediately assume it can only be Pandora's box. Logical. Bitch, I'm talking about the what symbols. What I like about you, Louie, is that you never fail to surprise me. I'm good. Open the jar. No, oh, fuck. Emily, what if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? <laughs> I'm saying. It'll make a change. <laughs> all right, can we move on now? I'm actually I open. do love your irony, but honestly, are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No, you really do need to do better than that. I'm a scientist. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> I ain't no bitch. <laughs> My job is literally to be a scientist, like, or close to it. Anyway. A golden fleece. Look it's at that. Freezing. Hurry up. You shouldn't have wore that then. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. <laughs> you caught dead in that horrible thing. That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. I love you too. <laughs> I fucking love this. I love I love the interaction between them too. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. The gospel according to Judas, or how to crucify Jesus as part of God's plan. You do realize that the contents of this book could undermine the very foundations of Christianity. That's true. One more reason to leave it in the secret room of a lost manor on a private island. Do you true. realize how important this book is? Of course, but what I really want to know is how did it come into Mortimer's possession? I was thinking the same thing about all the paintings and sculptures in how the manor. How did you get all this shit? How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly not. Never entered my mind. Totally didn't enter my mind. Totally not. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. Whoa. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older I know. than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could oh, they're funny. Powers. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. The workmanship on this crown is amazing. The finesse of the gold laurel leaves is beautiful. I'm just showing her how much of a, a nerd I am. Worthy of <laughs> I'd stake my it. life that it's a genuine article. Do you know why laurel wreaths are used and not, say, mistletoe or another plant? plant? The laurel wreath symbolized glory in Roman times. Yeah. In your opinion, what kind would suit me best? Mm, a crown of nettles. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm trying to be funny here. You just like. Looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. Oh, I just tell her. Describe it to me. Brass quillings and knobs. A beautiful cruciform line. Judging so by the smart. wear and I the love technique it. used to forge it, this sword dates back to the Crusades, and it must have belonged to a wealthy knight. Had There's a date. MCXC. 1190. That's right. Forge for the Crusades. I think this is Excalibur, King Arthur's sword. I've always dreamt of drawing it from the stone. How sweet, you're still clinging to your boyhood dreams. You know what, lady? You finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? This place is awesome, fuck you. <laughs> I am searching Fragment of amber. 
I love it. I love it. Cocky. Something interesting. Cocky a Louis is in awesome. Maine, hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. He's immortal. Maybe Mortimer is immortal or capable of living for a very long time, like Methuselah. A you first smile. Careful. Keep that up, and soon you'll end up laughing. <laughs> I love this. Like that, and indeed, I might. These documents are intriguing, <laughs> but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? take? Why keep such a collection hidden in a secret room? Any thoughts? Mortimer mm -hmm. has every reason in the world to conceal it, even if only to keep it from people like us. Hey, Emily, we're, we're not, not thieves. thieves. We're only looking. We're looking I wonder up. why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. <laughs> you'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. God. I swear, me and her are like perfect crime duos. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. I no? can't trust a man who sneaks into my room in the middle of the night. Are you really going to use that against me every time we meet? It's difficult to pretend nothing happened. We just met Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Fine. Listen, Emily, it seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? Let's do this. Because I don't want any harm coming to you. You trusted me last night. My being in your room was a bit odd. I'll give you that. And you might have taken me for a thief, or, or worse, worse. But, you still but trusted me. I managed to explain myself, right? Look at us. I wonder what Mortimer would think if he found, if he found us, here. us here. Let's trust each other, Emily. We are partners in crime now. That Technically. I grant you. Let's go. <laughs> fairly reliable. I'm really That's good. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, That's I'm prepared good. to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've uh, nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to right. gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all okay, the time. Bro, 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 bro. Because you think Chill I out. need help. Chill Just out. like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! Thanks. And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Um... Weak and... She's... She's weak. Uh, she's not weak. Okay. <laughs> Subterfuges? No. Questioning. It's obvious to me that whenever anyone seriously questions you, you start to lose your footing. It's not she a does. big deal in and of itself, but we can help each other when that happens. Together, we'll be much stronger. I hope that's it. My dear Louis, you're very kind, but you are completely mistaken. Fuck. I have no problem whatsoever dealing with being questioned. I figured, I'm okay. I'm sorry to tell you, but you read me badly. I do read you badly. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. All right, you got two I'm more times. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Come do on, you I need this, I need this, come on. Okay, um... Leader investigations. Or she already has a partner. 
Galaxy Leader investigation so she well, takes one orders thing is very clear you're working for someone I know that the dark hand of someone more powerful home yeah. for example you seem to know each other very well why are we bringing home to the conversation why did you, you say knew me home? better you would know that I take orders from no one you take hold of my mom. I already mom. have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. Fuck, I, I don't doubt said... that your abilities will be of use to me. God. But I already have all that, thanks oh, to my teammate. I said that. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? She. No, I've already said too much. She. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. She's giving it's me stuff. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, Eventually. since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. I know you're a gambler. Is. So, your partner is... <sighs> How she was affected by the cameo. <gasps> it's a woman. It's gotta be my mom, right? My mother. Because... The vision, right? Gotta be the vision, right? It's as obvious as it is surprising. You're my mother's hard hitting partner. Oh, oh God, do you really believe the nonsense that comes out Fuck. of your mouth? Well, I was close. A second ago, I did. A little. Sorry, Louis. Your mother is Fuck. not my partner. No way. Wait. Is it a man? It's another woman. Hmm. <laughs> It's a man. Is it a man? Her mother. It can't be her mother. That. Her old husband. A member of the order? It can't be her husband. Member Chances are, you're working with a member of the Order. Well, the only members of the Order other than ourselves are your mother and Mr. Washington. The former has sadly gone missing. As no. for the latter, I knew nothing of his arrival. Incidentally, you must have noticed how inefficiently our Order communicates internationally. Fuck. Right, time is short. You haven't convinced me. I prefer to remain Fuck. discreet. Oh, Don't take it the wrong way. I hate myself All I can tell that. you is I'm looking for my sister. And if I reacted so strongly at the sight of the cameo pendant, it's because I thought it belonged to her. But it doesn't. Assessor. I understand. But there's no way I, I would have known insist. that. Unless I... It's time to leave. Fuck. Damn, I really wanted to get her on this side. Damn it. Man, this sucks. I fucked up. So badly. Can I redo that? Can I do it over again? I really, no, I can't, I can't, I, I fucked up, it's as simple as that. Man, that really, that really upsets me. I really wanted to get what, I really wanted her, I was doing so well too. Until she started asking me questions. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh yeah. Damn, I'm so mad. Lady. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Oh, good evening, me? Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. In my room? Ooh. Ooh. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. I'm gonna have I to go. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but... If I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Um. Yeah, I like Emily, but Elizabeth seems to know something about my mom, and I need to get something more. I follow. I follow Elizabeth. We'll see. We'll see what happens with Elizabeth. I'm sorry, Let's... Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. Looks a little serious. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. It better not be bullshit, brother. I swear, if she kills me, I'm gonna be so mad. I really need to 
talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, okay. I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. Yeah, I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just okay. said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it was her. Okay. She doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Did you talk to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Okay. Yes, I need something to calm me down. She has some serious anger issues. No thanks. I, I'd better not. Listen, if you want me to tell you everything, you have to drink with me, Louie. What you. I have to say to you is of the utmost importance. You could fucking... You could have been... You have a knife right there. <laughs> she, she, she has to tell me stuff. And she... She needs to trust me. Fine. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? Easy. I swear, if, she, if you if you poison me, hey, hey. I wish I could fake it. I don't it. know where she gets her rot cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. You know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've okay. only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. You sure about that? Whoa, the alcohol's I knew it. <sighs> gone to my I fucking head. knew it. I fucking knew it. This bitch, she's about to kill me. She's about to fucking kill me. Don't you fucking do this to me. No, Here, I refuse. The condemned's last drink. I'll stop. Elizabeth, I'm stopping there. Never no, anything. fuck you. I'm gonna stop <laughs> now. Fuck this bitch. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? Fuck this bitch. No. You want to know the reason why? Well, you're gonna have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louis. No, nope, either I'm not drink or get out. Fine, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. No, really, I'm getting out. No, Fuck you. I won't drink. All right, Louis. Then get the hell out of here. Right, you're bye. incapable of opening your eyes. So be bye, it. Bye, bitch. Get out. Bye, bitch. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not. No, 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 no. You're gonna fucking kill me. I, I don't trust you. I really don't fucking trust you. You are bipolar, and the worst thing about bipolar people, they can easily kill you in a snap. I'm not doing that, alright? Bye. You might, hey, it might have been something that actually would have helped me. But I'm not taking that chance on the off chance that it actually might not be. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave. Hopefully Emily is still there. I doubt it. But, fuck. Damn it, I thought it was actually, she was actually gonna tell me something like that. Man. Clear headed. Yeah, I'm out that bitch. I'm not I am not getting drunk. Why the hell did I go with Elizabeth? I was hoping it would tell me something. But at least you told me she I saw her. The night with Emily, but no. I had to go play the night with a big heart. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, you well, know what? Never mind. Tomorrow's another I tried. day. I tried. Alright, I tried. I really did. <laughs> I wanted to find out more about my mother because she was going to tell me about my mother. But no. Fucking bullshit. Fuck Emily. Fuck, fuck Elizabeth. I'm not. Emily's fine. I want to fuck Emily, but, like, that didn't happen last night. So, I guess. Sucks to suck, I guess. <laughs> Damn, nigga. Monsieur de Richet. I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. What the hell's going on? You Elizabeth are in Adams? deep trouble, my young friend. She killed herself. I bet she killed herself. 
fucking hell. I should have joined Emily. I should have fucking joined Emily. Fuck. Fuck. Damn it. Fuck. Elizabeth. Fuck Elizabeth. Fuck her. Fuck. Fuck everything about her. Fuck her. Okay. She's. Mm, I should never trust her in the beginning. I shouldn't have trusted her in the beginning. I should never have trusted her. I shouldn't. I should have never trusted that bitch. I fucking hate that bitch. Fuck Emily. Fuck Elizabeth. I keep saying Emily. Fuck Elizabeth. God damn it. <sighs> All right, y'all. Thank you guys for joining. I really appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, please tell me if you want to see more. I can uh, get the rest of the series um, and I can play it. But if you, I don't know, just, you gotta let me know. Like this video. If I get like 100 likes or some, no. If I get 10 likes, 10 likes in this video, I will buy the rest of this, this game. And I will play the whole game, alright? Let me know though. You gotta let me know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Peace out, fam. Stay wise.